Hello, in this um, video I'm going to tell you a little bit about something called a fishbone diagram. It's one way that we can outline um, causes and effects. And really, so this first situation I'm going to talk about is when you have multiple causes leading to one effect. And I, here I'm not talking about chain reaction. I'm not talking about um, you have one cause, it results in an effect. That effect becomes the new cause for another effect. And that effect becomes the new cause for another effect. I'm not talking about a chain reaction. I'm talking about many causes working simultaneously at the same time to produce an effect. Well, let's say that the effect is ob obesity. In this case, um, we're talking about a problem as the effect. But effects don't always have to be problems. They can, um, you know, they can be events. They can be successes. Uh, maybe you want to talk about something that you have. Uh, those can and how you got it. Those can be all different types of um, effects. All right. So this diagram is called fishbone diagram. Now let's imagine that. The effect is the head of our fish. And then we have the back and we have the tail and we have some ribs to our fish. Now, those ribs are the main causes leading to the effect. And so we're going this way. We have the causes that lead to the effect. And what are the causes of obesity? Maybe it's bad diet, maybe it's no exercise, uh, maybe there's some lifestyle things, maybe, uh, maybe it's even genetics. Genetics. <laughs> okay. So those are the, these bad diet, no exercise, lifestyle, genetics, those are some main causes leading to obesity, leading to the effect of obesity. Now each of those main causes, for example, no exercise, has secondary causes. Why no exercise? Well, maybe it's difficult. And maybe um, you don't have time, no time. And maybe weather. It's too hot. Um, so those are, are some secondary causes for the main cause of no exercise. What about lifestyle? Well, maybe you like to go to cafes a lot. Maybe you have, uh, um, you know, every Friday you having, you know, a big lunch. You have a big lunch at your, at your family's house. Bad diet, it could be, you know, there's junk food, snacks, and so on. Genetics, it could be something like slow metabolism. That means your body processes metabolism. Uh, your body processes food slowly, processes energy slowly. So what do we have here? We have the effect, that's our, kind of our starting point about thinking of, of all of this, and here we're talking about obesity, so the effect, and then we have um, major causes that lead, lead to this effect, and each of those major causes has secondary causes, right? And we're always asking the question, why, why, why did this happen, why did this happen, why did this happen? So that is a, a fishbone diagram for multiple causes leading to one effect. And these causes, they're all happening at the same time. It's not a chain reaction. Okay, let's look at a different situation. In uh, this situation, we're uh, again, um, you know, we're going this way. Um, and we have our fish head yet once again and we're dealing with the topic of obesity now in this case we're looking at obesity as 
a cause and this cause is going to lead to many effects. Let's imagine that our, uh, our fish head here from the other one, from the other diagram we just did, this fish is eating another fish now. Yeah, you know, I'll do a little yum. Kum, 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 kum. So this fish is eating another fish here, and we have the we have the uh, we have the spine, the the back, and the tail, and we have some ribs. All right, we need major categories now for effects. We're having one cause leading to multiple effects. So what are some effects of obesity? Well, you can have health problems. You can have, um, well, uh, I'll call it modeling for children. You know, the, chil the children are going to, to, if you're a mother or father, the children are going to see you and, and copy you. So maybe your, your children become obese. Uh, what's another major one? Well, maybe there are some social challenges. Oops, social challenges. Um, so, I, here this is a, a main a cause. Here is a main cause. Or, sorry, these are main effects. The cause is obesity. And it is leading to these different effects. One of them is health problems. Another one is, um, you know, modeling for children where children will now become obese. Another one is maybe some social challenges. And some secondary effects are for social challenges. You know, why? What are the social challenges? Well, it could be, uh, you know, people are joking about the person who's overweight. It could be people, you know, teasing them. Health problems diabetes, um, blood pressure, and so on. So again, just like the, uh, the fishbone diagram, you had uh, many causes leading to a single effect. And those causes are happening at the same time. And in this reverse fishbone diagram, what we have is a single cause, obesity, leading to several effects. And uh, that is the end of this small presentation on uh, fishbone diagrams used to illustrate cause and effect.